Some U of T alumni students standing in solidarity with protesters, symbolically severing ties with the school. And with this pro-Palestinian encampment now in its 12th day, organizers have made it clear. If there's no commitment to meet their demands, this occupation isn't going anywhere. We say bring us something real. Bring us something concrete, bring us something immediate. Encampment organizers providing an update Monday morning on how talks are progressing with the school, saying little headway has been made. If all we're getting is bureaucratic promises, like we're not putting any of our trust into that because we know that can be retracted at any time. So farther apart, I'd say no, but closer together, I'd say we're pretty much right where we are. The encampment now entering its second week as protesters remain staunch on their demands. Disclose ties with the Israeli government and divest from Israeli companies. The protesters are also calling for the school to cut all ties with Israeli academic institutions that are either physically operating on settlements they say are deemed illegal by international law, as well as severing ties with Israeli academic institutions that they say sustain apartheid policies and the ongoing conflict in Gaza. When we presented this demand to the administration, their response was a flat out no. Why does the University of Toronto think they are above the United Nations? Why do they think that they are above international law? They say the school is rather offering to create an ad hoc working group to investigate their divestment and disclosure demands, but organizers still say it falls short. It could be progress or it could be them wasting our time. The university has said they wouldn't remove the encampment so long as things remain peaceful. Demonstrators, though, continue to stand firm, now offering the admin a new deadline for their requests. What we're asking for in terms of a timeline from the University of Toronto is that all commitments are presented by June 30th, which is when the Governing Council moves into the summer session. With both sides in an apparent loggerheads, it's unclear when the barricades will be lifted from King's College Circle. Even alumni students at the update on Monday making a bold statement in support of the demonstration. Now we reached out to the school for a response to what the students are saying are questionable negotiations we did not hear back in time for broadcast. On the school's website though, they did say that they're not disclosing any details as to what happened during Sunday's meeting. Now when it comes to the organizers, they say they're not sure when the next round of negotiations will be happening. In Toronto, Afia Boss, City News.